Please help me to bring to the podium Student Minister Abel Mohammed. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. I want to greet our brothers and sisters here, wherever you may be watching us, in the greeting words of peace, in the language of Arabic. Assalamu alaikum. I want to read something this morning, just to follow up with what Sister Alva was saying to us and what Brother Jeffrey has shared with us from the book of Isaiah, in the 43rd chapter. Because even though it's beautiful and sunny and dry in Chicago today, and the day ended that way yesterday and started that way yesterday, in the middle of the day we were caught by quite a torrential storm, weren't we? It appeared to come out of nowhere. It was beautiful, sunny. Next thing you know, you heard the earth rumbling from the thunder. I was in my car and the car started shaking from the thunder that I thought maybe something had fallen or exploded, but it was just the God of nature taking control of what is his and using it for his will and for his means. And maybe some people may have lost some electricity, maybe not to the severity that they have on the East Coast due to the storms there. And maybe nothing physically like that happened to you and I. Maybe the storms didn't affect you and I at all. But all of us have some storms in our life, don't we? All of us have something that is troubling us that we wish we could just flick the switch and get out of that situation, get out of that condition. And there is a switch that we can flick and it's called faith in the guidance of Almighty God, Allah. All we have to do, all praises due to Allah, is understand that He is never leaves us alone. It says in the 43rd chapter of Isaiah, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopian and Seba for thee. That's a powerful God, isn't he? He's saying, I know there's floods. I know there's water around you. I know there's storms and destruction and fire. But if I'm with you and you stay with me, it won't even touch you and I. And we all are suffering from some fire touching us, some flooding that we feel we can't get out of. But it is not because we have God has left us. It is because we have closed our eyes to the presence and reality of God. He further goes on to say, fear not. Now that's a powerful statement to make in the day of judgment, in the day of plagues. God is telling us, fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my gl glory. I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. You may be thinking that's talking about somebody else, some other people across the ocean, maybe outside of the universe or even outside of this galaxy of planets, because you can't see black people, brown people, red people, people who look like you and I. We don't think that we're important enough for God to choose you and I, but he's not just to choose you and I, he's already chosen you and I. And we know that by the presence of a man in our midst who stands in the midst of the most powerful country that has existed in the last 6,000 years and says to this world, let my people go. And I'm speaking of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, our Moses, our Aaron, our Elijah, our Elijah, Shuff, our messengers of God. God sees our suffering. Do you not think he saw the bringing of millions of black people across the ocean into slavery? Do you think he didn't see the destruction and death and robbing and raping and pillaging of a whole continent of people referred to as the indigenous, the native, the first tribes, the so-called Indians? Do you not think God sees that today? If he could see in Palestine a little pocket of Jews suffering, 
that he could see back in the Roman Empire, Roman Empire and under Pharaoh in Egypt, a small group of people, a few slaves suffering here and there. Do you not think he could see us suffering for four and five hundred years today? And if he was a God to send Moses to them, to send Jesus to them, to send Muhammad to a little groups of tribes scattered across the Arabian Peninsula, what is he required to do for you and I today if he is wants us to believe in him and have faith in him? All praise is due to Allah. I'm saying all of that because we've been misinformed about who and what God is and how he works amongst us. So we're looking up into the heavens for a ghost to come down when God has always gone down into the valley, down into the shadows, down into the abyss to raise up men for you and I, to guide you and I, and that's why we're blind today to the presence of a man, because we think can't nothing good come out of black people, can't nothing good come out of Indians, what good comes out of the ghetto, what good comes out of the barrios, but there's a sign today, because you know what, Barack Obama came out of the ghettos. Barack Obama came out of Africa, his father coming out of Africa. He came and worked amongst us here as a sign, not because he's a savior, but as a sign of a saving grace that is present in the world today. All praise is due to Allah. We no longer have to look for one to come. All we have to do today is listen to the guidance of one who is present, one mighty in power who says, this people I formed for myself. Let that sink in for a second. That's God speaking. When you go outside and see the wino on the corner, God formed that for himself. When you go and see the sister selling herself on the corner, God formed that for himself. When you see the Mexican brother down and laying in the ground in the gutter with a bottle of tequila in his hand, God chose that and made that for himself. Well, why would God make something that's like that? He says it like this. He made them for himself that they shall show forth my praise. How will we know that God is present unless the blind see? How will we know that God is present unless the deaf begin to hear? How will we know that God, God is present unless the dumb begin to speak? Well, I'm here as one that was blind, deaf, and dumb. And today, I have something to say, not because I have wisdom, because God has raised a wise man who can reach the minds of black folk, reach the right minds of Mexicans and so-called Latinos, with a message that will raise you and I out of the condition we're in, not for just today, not just for a few moments while we feel good listening to this word, but if you and I heed the call of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan through the teachings and guidance of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we will forever be free of the grip and hold of Satan on you and I. Satan is what has us in that pit of fire. Satan and sin is what is holding us under water in that flood, in that river, in that stream. You and I have come to the house of liberation today. This is real liberation theology, not belief in a spook or God outside of ourselves, but the knowledge of God which gives us and brings us face to face with this beautiful reality that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad put so eloquently and beautifully and perfectly for us. And it comes in these words as I leave you and bring up the next presenter. Every time you look at a black man, you're looking at God. All praise is due to Allah. Every time you and I look at a face that has melanin skin and has the spirit of God moving, flowing through us, whether it be the lighter shades of black, brown, red, and yellow, or the darkest of shades where there's blackness with tinges of blue and purple in it, all of it is from the Creator, and the Spirit dwells in all of us. We're so happy today because we're finally here in the day where we no longer have to wait and look for one to come. We just have to recognize and listen to that one who's with us. And I thank you for being in this house today because you and I made the wisest choice we could have made this morning. We could have gone and taken a walk on the lakefront. That would have been nice. We could have stayed in bed and gotten a couple extra hours. That probably would have been relaxing. But tomorrow, when you and I get up, if we would not have come to this house of knowledge, we would have been facing the same difficulties, the same problems, and nothing would have been added through the sleep. Nothing would have been added through the walk. But because we came to this mighty house of God, established on the word of God in truth, you and I, if we listen, if we 
bring our minds and focus and attention to what will be shared today, we will have answers that will help get us out of the condition we're in. And ultimately, that's what you and I want. We don't want anymore to go along and just get along. We want to get out of this world and out of our condition. I thank you for listening. Please back, bring back to the roster Brother Student Minister Jeffrey Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum.